Okay, Dutch just came in and said, come out. Or no, what did you say? Come look at this. So I've come out to see what he's going to show me. Buick problem number one. Buick problem number two is coming on a trailer. <laughs> he's not kidding. Video. He has. You can lay down on the rug there, uh, my creeper. On your creeper? What am I looking at now? Where the flashlight's pointed. All right. I don't know what it's supposed to look like, so that, that doesn't help. That part there, the back of this control arm. Okay. Where it goes into this part here, where it goes into this bushing. Okay. It's not supposed to move. Oh. Okay, so how do you fix that? You have to replace that whole arm? Or the bushings, but probably the whole arm is cheaper and easier. Oh, wow. So you It's you, just wobbling there. You were driving down so the road. when you hit road. the brakes, it just kind of goes whoop. Oh. Yeah. It's supposed to be firm. Okay, yeah, that's definitely not firm. Let me get <laughs> out of here. That's just one problem. The okay, one so the other thing... Is the... Uh, something in the radiator. Never oh. remove this hot. It says right on it. Yeah, no, I've seen what happens when you remove it they hot. Go, poof, right in your face. Yeah. No, it's cold. Oh. Well, I cleaned this one off already, but. Um, and it's mostly water in here now. Oh, yeah, that doesn't look like antifreeze. No, but you can't see it now, but there was a lot of black goop. Okay. And so the cores inside the radiator are filled with that black goop. It's all caked on. I cleaned it out of the overflow. You can see it's nice and clean now. Oh yeah, it's pretty white but over there. Yeah, it's uh, so I bought a new radiator sticking here. Yeah, it came yesterday. All right. The radiator's a match. <laughs> I hope so. All right, this is the new radiator in the box. Oh, the mosquito's getting me out here. It's an unboxing. Ooh, I didn't even think of that. So how would the radiator get all gunked up like that? Car's got a hundred and... Let's see, I've put 96,000 miles on it. It's at uh, well, 255,000 miles, maybe it does that, I don't know. Oh, okay, because uh, we drive vehicles for long ways, and I don't remember that ever happening in a vehicle we have so had. Maybe at some point in time, someone put some stop leak in there, I don't know. Um, but I can't, I took a lot of scraping to get that tank cleaned. Yeah. And I can't go into the radiator and scrape yeah. that all out of those cords. I see. So this was $110. They didn't have the vehicle listing with it. They just sold it by part number. Most of them they put which vehicle it fits. And so I looked it up by part number and found it. And I made an offer six dollars less than what they were asking. And then I put a comment in there that said, basically, will it fit my car? I'll buy it. And they wrote back and they said it would. An offer, which means that it should fit my car. One would hope so, if they read your comment. <laughs> First, we check some damage. I see. I've had radiators come before that were damaged. Well, I see a couple of the fins look like they're bent up. Yeah, here's another one. Yeah. Oh, why are you doing that? So it looks like the right one. Well, that's good. Yeah, it does appear to be the same. <laughs> you always have to make sure the hose connections are in the right spot. Makes sense. 
and they don't want you to strip the threads. It voids the warranty. So these are for the transmission cooler, which might have been another reason why the transmission was getting warmer than normal because the radiator wasn't cooling as good as it should. Okay, and then it would do with a hard shifting thing. So you think this will help with that? Yeah, it should. Okay. So now we just got to take the old one out. The uh, um, You can see here, on the, another thing that you can see on this one, I took this apart before and I tried cleaning in between it, but there's a lot of cottonwood on the front of it. Oh, yeah. I don't know and, if the camera's picking uh, that up, but there a, is. Take your car to a car wash and clean that out sometime, but that's not why I'm replacing this. Okay. It's because of the cores inside. Yeah, because they're filled with the gunk. All right. What year is this car? 2005. 2005. It's got uh, 249,000 miles, and if you look underneath at the engine and transmission, there's not a speck of oil on it. Okay. So it's in excellent condition. All right. Okay, Dutch has asked me to record using his camera so if you want to see more of this project you'll have to go to his channel what's your channel Dutch the Uper. there you go all right hang on that's T-H-E the American spelling <laughs> not the duh <laughs> <spelling>. <laughs>